with another episode of Fun for One. Today we're going to be folding some towels and a washcloth into the shape of a sea creature that you hopefully will recognize when we're finished. What you need for this is either a small bath towel or in my case I have a large hand towel. Um, Costco sells them for cheap and they're very nice quality. Um, and I have another hand towel um, you, so you either need one bath towel, one hand towel, one washcloth, or in my case, I used two hand towels and one washcloth. Now, these don't have to be brand new or good looking towels or anything like that. In fact, I think this would be easier if you have a really thin towel. Now, if you have green and blue or green and brown, those would be the great colors to use, but I only have green here today. Doesn't matter, you could have purple, you can have pink, it doesn't matter. Just um, get some towels and follow me. Okay, a couple of things you need to know before you get started, and I, I've learned these things from trying this myself. It does ha help to have a, a taller bowl or container to help you as a second set of hands if you need them. But I just grabbed this old container in case I need a little extra hand. All right, so my first towel, and this would either be your bath towel, or in my case, my hand towel, I'm going to fold in from the end um, on the long side, halfway to the middle, okay? And then I'm gonna press that down a little so it doesn't roll out. I'm going to do the same thing on this end and come in to the center until I have the two sides that are pretty much the same. You can adjust this if you need to, okay? And then we're going to flip it over, keeping those folds together. And then we're gonna look at about a third Fold about a third of this in here and a third of this in here. Now you're going to take this and flip it over and then we're going to separate. So we just separate the middle part like this, making a nice round shape with a little lip on there. And we're going to set this part aside for now. We've got more to do. Okay, now our next, our next towel, this is the one I need the container for, I found. So this one is for sure a hand towel. Um, and not a bath size towel. You want this one to be a little bit smaller. In my case, it's the same size, that's okay. Again, I'm going to roll it in from the short end this time to the center. And this time I realize that in this one, I sometimes have a hard time keeping these from rolling out, but that's okay, because I can fix it as I go. Just don't pull on this other end when you're rolling, then it should stay put. And again, you're gonna need a flat surface to work on. Okay, you can kind of match those up. All right, now you're gonna fold this one in half and then you wanna turn it so that the, the flat end is, on, is, one is facing you, one is facing away and the open sides are, are on the side here. Now I have the container here to help hold it for me because what I need to do is reach inside and pull out gently the ends of those rolls and even if you don't, if you can't do it because it's sometimes hard to do, you can do it later. So just have those pulled out a little bit. Those are kind of like handles. Now I'm gonna take those, and this is the hard part, okay? Don't get frustrated if you can't do it. I've, it's taken me many times to practice. Okay, you're gonna pull those out, and I know it feels like we're gonna pull it apart, but you'll see why we need it to be like that. Put that down. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna shape these and kind of curl these in like this, okay? And then we're gonna take our large piece here, we're gonna set that right on top. Hopefully you can kind of see this coming together. We have one more piece to do, and that is our washcloth. So you're gonna take your washcloth, I probably would cut this tag off, and we're gonna fold it diagonally across so we make a triangle. And then we're gonna fold these two ends in to the tip, kind of reminds me a little bit of origami, but this is as hard as it gets here. Okay, so it looks like a little stingray there. Now we're gonna roll in from the corner and I just hold this corner as I'm rolling this one in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of do that shape, flip it over, and I am going to tuck this gently underneath my towel. And voila, you have a sea turtle. Hopefully you can see that okay. Okay, so you might have to use your imagination a little bit with some of these um, towel creatures, but um, there are going to be more available. I'll put a link down below or a link on the site 
where you can see more sea creatures or more towel animals. And if you Google it, sometimes you can find a whole lot of other ones out there too. And some might be a little easier, some are a lot harder. So find something you like or try your hand at a turtle. Remember, if you do any of these projects, please take a picture, email them to me or um, have your parents text them to me or um, send me a message on Facebook too. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Fun for One.